Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. So now that the building is all blocked in and ready to go, I'm going to walk around here. I'm going to show you this, and then we're going to climb up inside. Uh, there's no step at the moment, so I'm going to go in from the other side. But um, yeah, it's you. It, the one of the things that down here, um, even though this area was opened up, making things completely level is going to be tough. So uh, that's kind of hard from that perspective, but. Uh, Guys did a good job. They got the, it is level, and so you got the back end over here is much lower um, than obviously the front end because that was the higher area. But like I said again, you can see a lot of stone extra on this side, which is good. And if we go over to this side, they have a decent amount of stone. They can rake some of that out and down if they want to. But uh, they're going to have enough way to get all the way around their building where it's not going to be um, obstructed um, in any way. And plenty of room for Hella to get underneath, which is good. So we're going to walk around this real quick and then we're going to go inside and I'll show you what the inside of this looks like. Um, this is a 12 by 22 building, okay? So 12 foot wide, um, or it's 12 by 32, I'm sorry. 12 foot wide, 32 feet long. Decent sized porch on here for them. And uh, so we're going to walk around this whole thing to start with. And uh, so, you know, as high as the front is there, you know, the back is not as high, obviously. It's very low to the ground. But, um, and then there's enough stone here. They can rake this out and flatten this out as well. Um, even pulling it back farther if they want to. So they have a lot more room. Like basically, I'm gonna stand back here so you can see um, all this rock that's pretty thick and deep through there. They can pull this back if they want to get this even more um, room behind the building. So, um, you know, that's how that is. And then we're gonna walk around here. And even like with this stone here, this can all be pulled out. This can all be pulled out there. Uh, to make that better for uh, you know doing that so we're gonna climb up here come on good girl she's like I'm going where you are so nice porch on here uh, the L shape so we're gonna go inside real quick all right so uh, eight bats of insulation while wow, it's warm in here uh, eight bats of insulation in here already. You have this, for me, I would turn this into the kitchen area. It would be just a nice little spot to have your kitchen. You got storage up on top up here. More storage or sleeping up there, however you wanted to do it. And a decent amount of room in here. Uh, a nice little getaway cabin. And uh, so that's going to be good. And... But uh, decent size, like I said, again, 12 feet long, uh, or 12 feet wide, 32 feet long. So, you know, not, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And, uh, whew, so, yeah, so they got the window here in the front. Uh, there's another window here. So, like I said, to me, this would be my kitchen area if it was me. Uh, I would make this my kitchen area because then you can actually look out the windows and, and see stuff. You have the one window here, you have another window here, and uh, you know, however they want to do everything is how they'll end up doing it. But uh, you know, now, like I said, they got uh, the eight bats of insulation to start out with. They're obviously going to need more than that, but um, let me lock this up behind me. Yeah, but there's that's what we got. So um, decent view here. You got obviously Bud's place is there. Paul and Barbara are there. Uh, Sandy, you can kind of see the top of her building over there. And so we got uh, the upper. Uh, what are we gonna call this? The uh, upper west side? <laughs> I don't know. Just kind of goofing. But uh, so. Yeah, Upper West Side. This will be the Upper West Side. But, you know, not everybody is obviously going to be down in the Lower Meadow. Uh, where we open this up like this, we can actually continue 
all the way through that area through there where it's very sloped we could open all that up if we wanted to be able to put a couple more buildings in through that area if we want to down the road um, that is obviously a possibility and it just kind of connects everybody um, in that area and then here if you look over here now you're overlooking the woods and you can see how vertical it is once you get off of this plateau area um, it goes right down so uh, controlling the high ground is obviously very important and uh, so that's a good thing as well so very good uh, really really happy about everything here I'm sure Jamie and Don are going to be ecstatic in their son uh, Brandon as well so uh, yeah looks good um, obviously they're going to have to invest in some steps because that is quite the drop off uh, you know but uh, anyway what I would do I was looking at this and I was just going to show you guys real quick so here's all these big stones right that were taken out of this area I would take a bunch of those stones um, up over here someplace I would make a nice little fire pit so you had a fire pit right in front you can come outside hang out have a fire pit have that going um, and then it's not too close to the woods and uh, all that type of thing so but uh, yeah got a nice breeze going right now which is always also a good thing and uh, good day good day getting another building in here getting it squared away um, that is awesome and uh, so that's what we are we're continuing to make good progress uh, with things now the next project after now Jamie and Don's building is in uh, Roy uh, we're going to be working on his situation and so uh, we're going to have to have the excavator guy come back in and, uh, and do some more work so I got to see if anybody else wants anything done in the meantime and uh, well, I'll be talking to all the group members and if we got him down here and he's working uh, it's better to uh, you know have him working on several different projects uh, at the same time so good progress things are coming along uh, actually I'll take you over here real quick let me climb down off of here we'll walk over here real quick uh, so we've only had since uh, the um, Bud got his other tank in here, okay, we've only had two rainstorms come through, nothing in all, no all day rain or anything like that. But this right now is maybe, God, it doesn't feel like more than 50 gallons, maybe 50 gallons in this tote um, right now. But again, it's only it was two rain showers that came through. And, uh, you know, and that was that. So that's how his setup is all set up there. But uh, we need, we haven't had an all-day rain. Um, it would be really nice if we did have one, to be honest with you. And, uh, but we have not had one like that in a while. So, but, uh, yeah, like I said, good progress. Uh, things are coming together. It's just a, a work in progress and things take time, folks. Uh, nothing happens overnight and it's kind of hard, uh, you know, for the members because a lot of times they can't be here when things get done. So that would, that's what makes it nice that I'm here. Um, I'm able to, uh, you know, help coordinate stuff, get things in where it needs to be in the right spot. Um, you know, obviously I talk with my members and say, okay, where do you want it? How do you want it? And, you know, and Jamie and Dodd said they wanted the porch facing uh, Bud's place, which I think was a good decision. And uh, so there we go. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, and this is here now, which is a good thing. And uh, we're going to go from there. So anyway, guys, let me jump off of here. Remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called Human Race. As soon as we figure that one out, we are truly going to be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do, you can do it. The only one stopping you from reaching your goals is going to be you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. 
I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.